everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I'm starting a new project and uh, probably do multiple videos as I go along through the process. Um, but for those of you who know what you're looking at, this is a Freewing T33 that I am turning into a P80 slash F80 shooting star. Uh, a couple of the main differences between a P80 and a T33 are the fuselage length and the wing shape. Um, so on the T33, they added a pretty good section of fuselage in the Ford so they could fit a second seat. And they also added a small section in the rear fuselage to stretch the rear fuselage out to compensate for the CG and everything else. And probably for stability because the longer nose and being such a flat nose, I'm sure it has a tendency to overpower the tail if the tail is too short. So that's pretty much it. The fuselage is a little bit shorter on the P80. And they also had rounded wingtips, something like about like that. Uh, the T33 actually had like a P51 style wingtip on it with the, with the drop tank or with the tank. Uh, the P80s had a round tip with drop tanks. So um, I still have to make some foam pieces for the tips and shape them. I, however, was not expecting to see these fiberglass and carbon fiber reinforcement rods. I don't know if these run like all the way down the wing or if they're just for the tip tanks or what, but it's kind of cool to see that. Um, so yeah, so I uh, started work on this today. Only got a few hours into this so far, not too bad. For those of you who haven't watched any of my other videos on this airplane, I did do speed brakes and also reduce the size of the exit a little bit down to about 60 millimeters on the exhaust size. So, um, this wasn't quite as straightforward as I was hoping. Uh, here's the section that I cut out. I basically cut from just behind this plastic inlet piece here all the way up and all the way underneath. And then I uh, went along this panel line right here and used some half inch masking tape and laid that line out and cut that line. Um, I think this is still just a smidge long for scale, but uh, there's a couple issues with shortening a fuselage like this. First and foremost is the CG. So the pack normally sits, let's see, the back of the battery would sit right about here before. And so it kind of changes things now that the the nose is shorter, so the battery ends up farther in the nose, and you end up running out of room to move the battery forward to keep the CG properly. So, um, I didn't want to go, I think uh, it would have been about a quarter inch, maybe even a half inch shorter for scale. Um, but I also didn't really want to shorten the rear fuselage, so I thought maybe I'd go in the middle to try and average out the look. Obviously, I'm not competing in scale competition with this. It's just for myself. Um, but why do a P80? Uh, I've always wanted one, and honestly, I'll probably buy another T33 because I love T33s. But I've also I've always wanted to do a P80, and I know there's a bunch of guys on RC groups that wanted to do a P80 conversion when these first came out. I don't know if anyone ever did, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. So the real one, the section was added in right here in front of the wing. And then the rest of it was kind of untouched P80 stock material, if you'll call it that. But I didn't want to cut it off from the back section because if you look at the way the ducting's laid out and the body lines and everything, it wouldn't have worked out too well. So um, <clears throat> you can see here how the ducting is, how it goes back. So if I would have cut it at the back end of that, it would have made things a little bit harder to get lined up. Um, as it was, after I cut the section out, there was a pretty good mismatch in here. Um, as you see, I had to carve some down. Uh, carve down a little bit, a little bit underneath. And then I had to totally redo the inlets. I actually kind of opened them up a pretty good amount inside. Uh, I still have to smooth out that transition right there, but I got to take the wing off to do that. So I'll get to that eventually. But for now, I kind of open these up, and I'm looking at it thinking I might be able to get away without using a cheater hole. So, we'll see. I'm going to do some flight testing after I get a canopy made, 
and we'll figure out if that's doable or not. But uh, yeah, so I had to do a little bit of shaping, a little bit of lining up. It wasn't all that terrible, honestly. Um, <clears throat> there's another thing I did. I had to, can't really see it probably, but I had to hog out this section inside of here so I can get my battery far enough forward to make my CG still. I still have to put the battery tray back in. I have the rails glued back in and I had to modify the rails. A lot of little changes had to be made to make this work. It wasn't real simple, but honestly it wasn't that terrible either. Um, this obviously isn't finished yet. Uh, um, uh, um, another thing I did was I changed the way the hatch was. I didn't really care too much for the way the hatch was originally, but with a T33 canopy, it works out pretty well because it follows the canopy line and it doesn't look too obvious. But I thought this, this rounded line back here with the smaller bubble canopy would have looked kind of funny. So I glued the existing hatch to the fuselage and then cut it out. So now it's a square square panel line. Um, should be a maybe a smaller gap, which I wouldn't mind. And then I got to fill all this in with foam, obviously. Um, this is the factory T33 Ford windscreen, which is the same as what a P80 used. Uh, I just need to, I'm going to use this to make a plug. The rest of it's going to be carved out of foam, Bondo, and all the rest of that stuff to make a canopy plug. I may or may not offer them for sale. It's kind of a pain in the butt to make canopies, so... I may or may not do that, and for what it's worth time-wise, you end up having to charge too much and people don't want to pay it, so I don't know. We'll see. But uh, as you can see, the transition into the body really didn't turn out too bad. Obviously, it needs some body work still, but uh, yeah, so that's where we're at so far. A lot of foam on the floor. Um, like I said, I only got about three hours into this so far, so not, not too bad. So I plan on fully refinishing the model. Uh, filling in the panel lines, doing all that stuff, and doing a full repaint. I'm not sure of the paint scheme yet. I really like the early P80s with that light glossy gray and the old stars and bars. But uh, I got a thing for early experimental airplanes, and there's a decent chance I'm going to end up scratch building an X1. And uh, that was the motivation behind turning this into a P80 was so I could have a chase plane for the X1. So I may or may not do the P-80 that Bob Hoover flew to chase Chuck Yeager in the X-1. Uh, the only difference there is that that P-80 had like a camera nose on it. So it wasn't, it wasn't as pretty as this nose. It's a little bit bigger and it has like a window on the side. I might just do just the window and make it look like that airplane because I really don't like the shape of the, the nose. Like I said, I'm not doing scale competition here. But anyways, uh, you might be asking, why would I take... A perfectly good T33 and start hacking it all up. My son was asking me the same thing today. He's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to chop it all up? Well, yeah, that's just the way I roll. But uh, this this airplane has been, uh, well, these came out almost a year ago. And I've flown this thing a ton. It's getting a little beat up. It's got lots of dings and doesn't look like it on video, but it's getting a little beat up. So I figured, well, it's time to freshen it up, make it look nice. And might as well do a P80 while I'm doing all that. So... And that's what we're doing doing a shooting star and uh i've got a few other airplanes now that i'm messing with so this one doesn't get flown as often i got the mig now which is kind of my go-to fun jet and uh i recently got a a new a4 so now i got two a4s but this one's going to be a blue angels a4 with full gear doors and it's going to get fully stripped and probably an operating hook uh so something interesting i did sorry this is getting long um Kind of a preemptive strike to doing the P80 conversion was I took the in runner power system out of this airplane um, and put an A10 power system in it, which, as you know, is the same impeller basically but different shroud. And the main reason I did it was that it's a lighter weight, it's almost three ounces less, and that's all the way back here. And I knew the nose was going to be short, so in order to help with a potential CG issue, I'm put the lighter power setup in it and I test flew it uh, yesterday and honestly it, there was very minimal loss in performance and as many of you know who's flown the T33 it's such a good performing jet as is you can do 
almost most scale maneuvers at just over half throttle. So it doesn't really need that much power. But uh, yeah, so I ended up, the reason I pulled it out is because I wanted, well, one, so I could save some weight, but also I wanted a better power system in the A4. Uh, the stock power system in the A4s aren't bad, but I wanted something a little bit extra. So on this one, I put the T33 power system in it and I made a Mylar tailpipe. You can see the in rudder inside of there, maybe. There it is. And uh, actually flew it with the cheater hole um, just regular before with a screen over it for FOD because I fly for dirt. And the performance was uh, noticeably better than the stock 12 blade. Um, so then I decided to cover the cheater up and uh, the performance got even better. Now this isn't just a cover. I the uh, There's a large volume of space in there where the cheater's at. And if you just cover it up, you end up causing a, a big change in intake area right before the fan because it's, it's such a deep area where the, where the um, cheater hole's at. So I haven't flown it with the smooth cheater hole cover on the inside yet. I only flew it with it covered. I saw a zero loss in performance with it covered. The nine blade fans are, they work much better with marginal ducting. Than the old 12 blade does so uh yeah i'm excited to test fly this one with the full smoothed out ducting on on the inside as well so it should be even better than it was with just the cheetah hole covered but yeah performance was actually really good with the a4 with the in runner so i'm stoked about that didn't lose any performance here so yeah next step here would be to uh start doing some body work some filler getting this all filled in make a plug carve out some round foam wing tips and then I'll probably test fly it like that then after everything's uh, all good and I get it all sorted out then we'll strip it down and do the repaint on it so in the future uh, near future look forward to more videos about the P80 conversion but for now I'll just uh, give you this little video and throw in a couple of pictures at the end to show you what it looks like when it was all chopped apart so Again, did a little work in here. It's kind of messy in there, but smooth everything out. Doesn't look too bad. Honestly, when I first cut it and I went to go put it together, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good step right there. Um, <clears throat> and I did have to pull together this rear section just a little bit to meet up with the forward section a little bit better. So, anyways. That's the project. Hope you guys like it. Look, uh, stay tuned for more episodes on this airplane. And yeah, I'm excited to see a free wing P80 shooting star. We'll see you next time.